Hey friends, I'm Sonal Holland, Master of Wine, and I'm here today to talk to you about wine etiquettes that you should be following at wine soirees or intimate dinner gatherings that are so much the rage right now. Wine is soaring in its popularity as a lifestyle and a sophisticated beverage. So if you really want to be part of the inner circle, it's really important that you follow some of these wine code of conduct or the wine etiquette rules that I'm just about to share with you. So I have five rules that for the host, if you're the host of the party, and I have five for guests, if you're invited to somebody else's soiree, okay? So let's begin with the host part of it. The first thing you should do as a host is never be a miser with serving your wines. A good bottle of wine really begs to be served. So as a host, you should be generous and you should serve your best wines because nothing is better than building great memories over a great bottle of wine. So don't hoard those wine bottles. Don't be a, don't be stingy. Just pull out and uncork some of your best wines from the wine cellar and pour it and watch all your guests being simply vowed. The second point is I think as a host, we all tend to skew towards the same types of wines. We try to play it safe or, you know, because we may not be aware or we're just a bit scared to experiment, we don't want to risk it. We tend to serve the kind of wines that we tend to like. Uh, my suggestion to you as a host would be, go ahead and expand your and your guest palette. Serve as many different styles of wines as possible. So for example, when I host uh, wine parties at home, I actually don't serve two of the same wines at all. I try and create an assortment of different bottles of wines and I put them on display so that my guests have an opportunity to try a bit of everything and sort of walk away from the evening feeling like they've tried many, many different styles of wines because the whole beauty of wines is to enjoy diversity uh, of its various styles and uh, to discover new tastes. So I hope you'll give that a try. Third point is always invest in good quality stemware when serving your wines. You see, even the most ordinary wines really enhance in taste when they're served out of proper glassware. And when I talk about proper glassware, I'm talking about clear stemware, which is not having any design or any cuts in it. It has a, it has a lovely steady base. It's got a stem to hold the glassware. It's got a broad base at the, at the bottom of the bowl and narrowing rims. Uh, a lovely rim that can allow that wine to land at the right place on your palate and really enhance in the way it shows. So it's really worth investing in a really proper set of glasses that you can pour some of your best wines from. Number four, if you are hosting a wine sorry at home, chances are a few of your guests are gonna turn up with a bottle of wine as a gift. Now, as a host, it is your duty and it's only polite for you to ask the guests would you like me to uncork this bottle and pour it for us all to enjoy? Now, it's totally subjective. There are some guests who make a lot of effort to bring a good quality bottle of wine and would really appreciate you saying that and would love to have a taste of their own wine themselves. Some others who may be recycling their bottles may not be very comfortable with you unpacking the, the gifting and seeing what the bottle is. So in that case, by asking this question to your guest, you're allowing the guest the opportunity to tell you whether or not they would like the wines to be served at the party. And you should therefore respect their choice, whichever way they decide. And lastly, as a host, it is so important to remain humble. You might be serving a really expensive bottle of wine, a really special bottle of wine that you picked up on one of your travels and you're dying to tell the story and speak out. And yes, it's perfectly okay to do so, but within certain limits, you don't want to keep bragging about your knowledge of wine or, or you know, just about how much you paid for it and so on to the point where your guests are actually bogged down or feel overwhelmed. You'd rather be humble and allow your guests to praise you for the generosity of your hospitality. Now let's switch sides and think what you would do if you were the guest and you are being invited to a wine soiree for a small intimate gathering at someone's home. I think the first thing you should be doing as a guest is turning up on time. I always like to turn up right on time because I know some others would like to turn up fashionably late. 
but what it does is it gives me a fantastic opportunity to meet with the host and actually share a more personal moment before the entire room is full of all the other guests so it kind of allows me to get to know the host better to strike a conversation to build something that is real and meaningful so there's a lot of merit in trying to turn up early rather than swish in fashionably late as a guest if you're thinking of taking something very meaningful and thoughtful for your guests nothing better than a bottle of wine but even when choosing your wines for gifting i would urge you as a guest not to recycle some of your old bottles of wines that have been lying in your wine cellars and you don't even know if they are in pristine condition i'd rather you go to a nice wine store like this one i'm standing at i'm at my wine store which is a wine to wine cellar located at food hall in linking road and here we have you know over 300 bottles of uh, international and domestic wines so when you're trying and choosing a bottle of wine try and make it meaningful have a story to it so for example if i was picking up this bottle of the zonin prosecco for one of my hosts i would then walk in and say hey you know what i chose this bottle of prosecco for you because just like the prosecco you are an, you have this effervescent personality you are bubbly you are sparkling you are elegant and so i would try and correlate the personality of the wine with the personality of the host so by doing so, not only are you letting them know that you put some thought behind choosing a bottle of wine for them, but also you have a chance to actually praise them and praise their personality. All of this can go a really long way in trying to prove you as a guest who's truly worthy and wonderful. Third, as a guest, it's very important for you to be respectful of what's in your glass. So every now and then we all know we get served a wine that's not to our liking. The host may pour you something that in your opinion may be very simple or not to your taste. And I often as a wine professional get asked, you know, Sona, what do you think of the wine in your glass? And it's so important for me to not be wearing my hat as a master of wine and judging the wine at that point in time. So the most polite response I often tend to give uh, is to say, you know what, I was looking forward to a really relaxing evening and I'm just doing the drinking tonight and not the formal tasting. That's a nice polite way of saying, look, I don't want to pass any judgment about this wine, but I'm having a great time and that is all that matters. The next wine etiquette to follow as a guest is to sip and not guzzle for two reasons. One is because wine is nuanced, it is layered, it is a complex drink and it's a living liquid. So you want to really enjoy the taste of the wine by discovering the various aromas and flavors. And your chances of doing that are quadruple if you drink slowly rather than take big, big gulps of the wine. So as you sip through the evening, you're able to sort of enjoy the wine. But more importantly, when you're sipping and not guzzling, you're drinking more in moderation and you're drinking more responsibly. Nothing can be more important than that. What I'd also like to add is it may actually make a lot of sense for you to drink a glass of water between any two glasses of wine. This is so important because you want to stay hydrated and the last thing you want to do as a guest is to suddenly realize you drank one too many glasses and now things are out of control. Don't ever want to be out of control as a guest and so you want to stay hydrated and you want to drink responsibly and therefore you want to drink in moderation by taking one sip at a time. So as a guest, let's say your glass is empty and you're really dying to replenish some more wine into your glass and you get up to reach for the bottle. Wine etiquette demands that you first pour a little bit of wine for all the other guests before you top up your own glass. This is so important, especially at small gatherings which are around the dinner table. And you, when you reach out for the bottle, you must therefore then reach out to pour a little bit of wine in every guest's glass or at least offer them uh, the wine before you top up your own glass and some of the guests may say no I'm okay I have a bit of wine there already and that's perfectly okay so there you go guys I've now given you 10 great points on wine etiquettes to follow at intimate wine gatherings five for the host five for the guest but I'm not going to go away today without leaving you with one extra bonus tip and that is always saying a thank you always being generous with your praise even as a guest, it's so important for you to write back to your host the next morning and say, 
thank you so much for that wonderful evening and while you're making references to the food and the, the hospitality if you just make a quick reference also to the fact that you enjoyed the wines it'll tell the host that you really appreciate their effort they have made in choosing the right wine for you to enjoy that evening as a host of course you can also write to all your guests thanking them all for coming and showing up on time having a great time and for their wonderful gifts that they have given you all the wonderful wine gifts so guys in a nutshell praise and flattery will get you everywhere and a little bit of gratitude and thank you goes such a long way i hope these wine etiquettes have been wonderfully helpful for you and i hope you will start practicing them pronto at your next wine dinner party or your intimate social gathering and uh, cheers to that guys see you for now Thank you.